mass local numerical analysis numerical solution of ODE second order RK method for second order ODE YouTube channel mass local provide you easy mathematics techniques WhatsApp number email address my name is Saeed Amacha I am professor and Chris Nawafsha Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Rung Kutta method T2y over dx2 is equal to f of x comma y comma dy over dx it is a second order differential equation y of x naught is equal to y naught dy over dx at particular point x is equal to x naught is equal to y1 this is a these are the two point initial condition x between the length of the integral a and b solution by second order rk method for z is equal to dy over dx Differentiated dz by dx is equal to d2y over dx2. In place of d2y over dx2, we are placing dz by dx. F x comma y. In place of dy by dx, we are putting z. So first equation comes from the substitution, and the second equation comes the value is putting in the given problem. So it will be dz by dx. This is equal to f x y z. Y of x naught is equal to y naught. Dy over dx means the z. Z of x naught is equal to y one. So we can say y one say z naught. The second order differential equation is converted into the two first order differential equation. It is a point x naught y naught z naught. X n plus one is equal to X n plus delta X. Y n plus one is equal to Y n plus delta Y. Z n plus one is equal to Z n plus delta Z. Delta X is equal to H. Delta Y is equal to one by two times k one plus k two. Delta Z is equal to one by two times L one plus L two. K one is equal to H times of Z n. L one is equal to H times of X n. F of X n comma Y n comma Z n. K2 is equal to h times of z n plus l1. L2 is equal to h times of f of x n plus h comma y n plus k1 comma z n plus l1. Question: Use R K method solve d2 y over d x2 is equal to x d y over d x whole square minus y square. Y of zero is equal to one. D y over d x at particular point x is equal to zero is equal to zero. X in this uh, small length of the integral zero to zero point one. n is equal to five. Solution: For the z is equal to dy over dx, which implies that the z over dx is equal to d2y over dx2. So first equation comes from the substitution. Second equation comes from the given problem. When we are placing in place of d2y over dx2 is dz over dx is equal to x z. Square minus a y square. Y of zero is equal to one. T y over d x means z at particular point zero is zero. Here the function f of x comma y comma z is x z square minus y square. Replacing x by x n, y by y n, z by z n. Then we can write the function f of x n y n comma z n is equal to x n z n square minus y n square. X n plus one is equal to X n plus delta X. Y n plus one is equal to Y n plus delta Y. Z n plus one is equal to Z n plus delta Z. Delta X is equal to H. This is the step size. Delta Y is equal to half times of K one plus K two. Delta Z is equal to half times of L one plus L two. H is the step size. Final minus initial zero point one minus zero divided by number of pieces. We are dividing this length into five pieces. So each uh, the length of the each piece is zero point zero two. K one is equal to h times of z. Putting value of h here zero point zero two times of z n. L one is equal to h f of x n y n z n. Putting the value of h is zero point zero two, or the function f of x and y and z are this value. K two is equal to h times of z n plus l one. 
considering the value of h is 0.02 value of l2 is equal to h times of f of xn plus h comma yn plus k1 comma zn plus l1 according to mapping in place of xn we will have to put xn plus h so here we will have to put xn plus h in place of zn we will have to put zn plus l1 in place of yn we will have to put yn plus k1 So L2 is equal to 0.02 times Xn plus H times Zn plus L1 whole square minus Yn plus K1 whole square. Form the table and number of rotations K1, L1, K2, L2, delta X, delta Y, delta Z, Xn plus 1 is equal to Xn plus delta X, Yn plus 1 is equal to Yn plus delta Y, Zn plus 1 is equal to Zn plus delta Z. At the zero iteration, there is no value of k1, k2, l1, l2, delta x, delta y, delta z. At the value of the starting point is 0, 1, 0. x0 is 0, y0 is 1, z0 is 0. So at the zero iteration, we are placing this value 0, 1, 0. In first of all, we are placing in place of Zn is 0, the result comes k1 for the first station is 0, placing here 0, placing here 0, placing here 1, then simplified, so we have result minus 0 0.02, placing here 0, placing here the value of L1 is minus 0 0.02, then simplified, minus 0 0.004, placing here 0, Placing here 0 0.02, placing here 0, placing here the value of L1 is minus 0 0.02 whole square minus placing here in place of Yn is 1, placing here in place of K1 is 0, whole is taking the whole square, then simplified we have result minus 0 0.02 triple 0. The value of delta x is equal to h h means step size this is equal to 0 0.02 or this is a uh, equal length of the interval so which is the same placing the value of k1 0 placing the value of k2 minus 0 point table 0 4 here or divided by 2 after simplification we have result minus 0 point table 0 2 double 0 placing here the value of l1 minus 0 point 0 2 or the value of L2 minus 0 0.02 then divided by 2 simplified we have that minus 0 0.02 xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus delta x xn is 0 delta x is 0 0.02 so 0 plus 0 0.02 means 0 0.02 yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus delta y yn is 1 Delta y is minus 0 0.002, placing here, then simplified 1 minus 0 0.002, 0 0.998. Zn plus 1 is equal to Zn plus delta z. The value of Zn is 0. Delta z value is minus 0 0.02, so it means 0 minus 0 0.02, simplified, so we have a minus which is the same minus 0 0.02 after completion of the first equation we will have to go on second equation in place of xn we will have to put to repeat the procedure in place of xn we will have to put the value 0 0.02 in place of yn we will have to put 0 0.998 in place of zn we will have to put minus 0 0.02 so here we are placing the value of zn minus 0 0.02 then simplified minus 0 0.004 placing here xn is 0 0.02 zn minus 0 0.02 whole square minus yn means 0 0.998 whole square then simplified k2 in place of zn we are putting 0 0.02 l1 the value of l1 minus 0 0.01 92 placing here then simplified 
the value of xn is 0.02, h is 0.02, zn is equal to minus 0.02, l1, the value of l1 is minus 0.01592, placing here, taking whole square, minus yn, the value of yn is 0.0998, placing here, k1, the value of k1 is minus 0.004, taking whole square after simplification, we have a result. It is equal length of the interface. The value of uh, for the h, the value of h for the second equation, which is the same. Placing the value of k1 minus 0 0.004 here. The value of k2 minus 0 0.008 here. Then simplify it. Divide by 2. We have a this result. The value of l1 minus 0 0.01992 placing here. The value of l2 minus 0 0.01975 placing here divided by those after simulation we have a result the value of uh, next point xn xn is 0 0.02 or delta x is 0 0.02 then add it these two we have a 0 0.04 the value of y and 0 0.998 the value of delta y is minus 0 0.006 then add these two values then we have a result. The value of z is minus 0 0.02. The value of delta z is minus 0 0.019835. Add these two values, then simplify it. So we have a this result for the second equation. The next point for the second equation is 0 0.04, 0 0.9200, minus 0 0.03, 99835. For the third equation, we will have to use in place of Zn minus 0 0.039835. In place of Xn, we will have to use 0 0.04. In place of Zn minus 0 0.039835. In place of Yn, 0 0.9200. Like the same as we are, we are substituting this point in for K2. L2 delta x equal length of the interval it will be same add the k1 k2 add the l1 l2 repeating the same procedure so we have these results for the fourth iteration we will have to use uh, this value for xn this value for yn this value of zn so in place of zn we will have to put minus 0 0.059932 placing here then simplify it Similarly, placing the value xn, zn, yn or in L1, K2, L2, delta x which is the equal length of the interval which is the same, delta y, K1, K2, add. If we the same procedure, we can get the uh, values for the fourth rotation. Similarly, for the fifth rotation, we are repeating the same procedure. This is the value of the xn, this is the value of the yn, this is the value of zn. We are placing in K1, L1, K2, L2, delta x equal length of the interval, it will be same. Delta y, then add the K1, K2, delta z, so delta z, L1, L2. Similarly, we can calculate the fifth equation. For the, in fifth equation, we have the value of x 0.1. Uh, the value of y 0 0.995008 the value of z minus 0 0.099655 the first point is, is we are starting from 0 1 0 the second point is 0 0.02 0 0.998 minus 0 0.02 third point 0 0.04 0 0.992 minus 0. 0.039835 next point is uh, whole point is 0 0.06 0 0.0 99820 minus 0 0.05932 fifth point is 0 0.08 0.1968039 minus 0 0.079829 and the last point is 0.0.8 the value 0.1x value 
द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई जीरो पॉइंट डबल नाइन फाइव डबल जीरो एट द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो डबल नाइन सिक्स डबल फाइव सो वी आर ज्वाइनिंग दिस पॉइंट इन ए स्पेस तो वी हैव एस ग्राफिकल सोल्यूशन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द सेकेंड ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ इनिशियल कंडीशन इन द स्मॉल लेंथ जीरो टू जीरो पॉइंट वन and all the lecture